Hi, Kelly Shirley here. I am talking to OK today about all things babies because I'm announcing that I'm pregnant again with my third baby. I feel very lucky and very excited. Um, how am I feeling? I feel an, a mixture of emotions. Sometimes I'm feeling a bit blah, and other days I'm feeling really excited and chipper. But generally I'm feeling, feeling good. I'm eating for, for England <laughs> um, and um, I'm growing a child. <laughs> so I'm allowed to eat what I like. <laughs> um, I found out I was pregnant um, when I was working. I was filming up in Manchester at Manchester Studios and it was that time when it was really, really hot, it was 40 degree heat. And where we were, we, we were quite high up and um, obviously heat rises. So it was, it was excruciatingly hot. And we weren't allowed any fans on because of the sound quality. And so I was feeling dread, just dreadful. And I was on my hands and knees and feeling like I was gonna die basically. And then the onset medic came over to me and said, are you okay? I was like, no, I feel dreadful, I feel really awful. I said, you sure you're not pregnant? And of course I'm not pregnant. And then um, he was right, I was pregnant. And so, and so um, I, did, I did a test and it came back straight away. And then, um, yeah, that, that's, that's how I found out on the hottest, hottest day of the year. <laughs> yes, I was very surprised to find out that I was pregnant because I just, I just, I, I just thought I was really hot and um, tired and being sick <laughs> because of work. And, and of course, they're all the signs of being pregnant. So thank you to the onset medic <laughs> for pointing these things out to me. Um, so when I was pregnant with twins, I really enjoyed it because it's being an actress, I was really worried about what I was eating all the time and it was the first time where I could kind of like let myself go and I did and I just embraced the whole thing um, and I have done this to a certain extent this time round but being a bit older um, it has slightly floored me I'm definitely a little bit more tired um, but I'm feeling I'm feeling all right about it really <laughs> okay this time round cravings wise I've been craving meat which is interesting because I'm kind of vegetarian um, I've been eating lots of ice and when I was pregnant with the twins I used to go into supermarkets and put my hands in with, with the, the potatoes loose potatoes because I really wanted to eat soil <laughs> so I haven't, I haven't wanted that this time round just crunching on ice um, so I was in hospital for two weeks afterwards after I had the twins and I started back auditioning t after 21 days of giving birth and I had a c-section and I went up to Newcastle I had a recall for a film that I really really wanted but it was it was tough with two babies leaky boobs really knackered I think I had 90 minutes sleep so I didn't do my best work um, and I still think about the audition until today it's so stupid um, and I went back on a film set when I was six weeks old and the BBC let me have them with, with me, which was great because I was breastfeeding. And then I did a year at the RSC when they were nine months until 18 months. Um, so it was great. I just looked after them during the daytimes and then was performing in, in the evenings. So I was being quite lucky, really. The, fir the first time round, um, I didn't find out um, what we were going to have. It was a massive surprise. Uh, but this time round, we, we found out that we're going to be having a boy just because it was a bit of a shock. And so I wanted to be able to kind of connect with it a little bit more um, and come up with a really good boy name. Um, so baby names, um, having seven year old twins, as you can imagine, their names are interesting. So um, Paul has suggested Barry and <laughs> proper like 70s, 80s name. It's not gonna be Barry. <laughs> um, and then Louis just wants, wants to um, call, call in Connor after Connor Gallagher, who played for Palace and now plays for Chelsea. And it's not going to be Connor either, I don't think. But um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm still thinking about it. And, but they come up with all sorts of things all the time. Yeah, so, so when, when I had Pearl and Louis, we donated our cord blood at um, King's College Hospital. It's the only hospital in London where you can 
um, donate your, your blood <laughs> when you give birth and which is otherwise chucked away and it is the blood and cells that is like, the richest that, that can possibly be and um, it helps people have a second chance at uh, life of blood cancer which, which is otherwise like I say chucked away and it just seems crazy. So yeah, you can donate to Anti Nolan Charity. It doesn't hurt your baby. It doesn't hurt you. It doesn't cost you anything, and you can literally give somebody a second chance of life. So it's a no-brainer, and we've signed up to do it again. Yes, I keep in touch with quite a few people from EastEnders because it was a really special time in in my career. It's when I was just starting out. And um, keep in touch with Emma Barton who plays Honey. Um, we, we ran for um, Barbara's Revolutionaries to raise money for dementia and Alzheimer's in 2019. So all of that, of that group of people like Jake Wood, Adam Woodjat, Emma, um, yeah, lo lo loads of us just, because we ran for Barbara, we, we keep in touch and I see them quite a lot actually. Um, I, I, I watch EastEnders every now and again, I dip in and dip out. Um, if Emma's got a big storyline, definitely we'll, we'll, we'll watch it. Um, it's difficult though, because I'm either, Fit of working, um, or it's, it's in right in the middle of bath and bedtime routine, so thank God for iPlayer. So every now and again, yeah, I'll, I'll dip in and dip out um, to see my mates. So for Christmas, because I'm, I'm going to look like a Christmas pudding, I just want to stay here and <laughs> not do anything. Um, my husband's a really, really good cook, which is great, which means I won't be in the kitchen, and I'm going to stuff my face. My twins are off the scale excited about every single thing to do with Christmas and every season and but um because they're because they're getting older they're getting quite savvy about it and um their uh, list for Father Christmas is pretty big. <laughs> uh, thank you for watching I hope you're all well have a lovely Christmas and I'll see you on the other side when I'll be with another baby.